Well, welcome back, my fellow duplicates, to Oxygen Not Included. I got a whole bunch of dupes just standing around looking for stuff to do. And they're not wearing their masks. That's all right. We'll try to get this working this time. There you go. Go activate your masks. You got it, dupes. Excellent. All right. So, one thing I needed to do last time that I just didn't really get to... Dreco, what are you doing? <laughs> Same with my dupes. Watering farms from underneath. Okay, yeah, so food is on the menu. Hopefully. If it's not, I don't know what will be. What? <laughs> what is this? I'm very distracted. What are we trying? <clears throat> okay, first things first. Lurda is eating inside of a great hall. You guys mentioned that that is just way too much stress relief. We gotta kick her out of there. That's not... That's not good at all. Alright, well, let's at least start off by moving where I'm actually doing the cooking here. Uh, doing it right there just isn't working. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this. We'll get rid of that and that one and that one all of those And if we haven't researched it already, we probably want to have the advanced grill as well Oh, which of course requires atomic research <laughs> Because what kind of gas range doesn't require that? Speaking of that I should probably get the Atomic research up and running do I have what I need to make that happen? I think the best way for me to do that would be with shine bugs, but I don't see any shine bugs anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna build a little bit of a food locker over here. So I have an automatic dispenser, bottle emptier and whatnot. And I'll also try to pick up a little bit of bleach stone. I know that that's gonna be around here somewhere, or it should be. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Not a lot of it. You gotta go pretty far to get to any of it. It's all the way up over here. All right, so just digging into this area down here. Also hooking up things like a little auto sweeper and then potentially a little conveyor rail. Although one thing I did notice here is that under the research, in order to get the conveyor chute, I actually need orbital research. Why? I don't know. That seems... That seems weird. Why, why isn't this just under solid transport? Hmm. Anyhow, the next thing I need to do over here is to get over here and actually dig up some of that bleach stone so I can drop it right down here and then have a little spot where I'm going to have a little bit of bleach. Uh, but before that, I need to put a little bit of water right inside of here. So let's just go ahead and grab a little water, deliver it to this conveyor. Not conveyor, I meant the bottle emptier. And then turn it off. Boop! That's all we need. I'll go down here and just deconstruct that tile. I should be able to mop up this one here and those and all these down here. And there we go. See, now I'm just left with this little spot of water right there. Boop. Go ahead and put that right back in there. Get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. And then once I end up with bleach stone, once we get through this, I'll be able to drop that down there. And that will allow me to have a spot of bleach, which means if I have food poisoning or anything while I'm cooking stuff up, I can actually just drop it down there and it'll get, it'll become clean. Although this also makes me think I should really just move all of this stuff over one spot. That way I can put a little bit of a hand washing station right here. That way we can at least kind of avoid extra germs as well. Here we go. Put down a little sink there. And I should have liquid nearby. So we can go ahead and just pipe that in. And then take the dirty line out. Boop. All right, Wobbledorn. It's coming on over here. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and build up this little ladder. There you go. Jump on over there. Nope. Lilu's got it. There we go. Give me that bleach stone. Oh, minor irritation. Mmm. Lerda, maybe... Maybe you should sleep next to some bleach stone. Yeah, let me go ahead and just put this right down here. It's under consumable ore. Priority level 9. Sweep only. And click on that. There we go. Alright, there we go, dupes. Sweep. And there we go. So now we'll have a little bit of bleach stone down there. Let me just seal it off, or shall we say, get ready to seal it off. I want to wait till the carbon dioxide gets pushed out of there. There we go. Now we got chlorine in there, so I can go ahead and set that to a nice priority of nine. And we'll build that up. And then right down inside of here, we have chlorine gas. Nice. All right, but not until I get the auto sweeper up and running am I going to be able to ship stuff down there and store food in that one spot. But at least I got it built up, so it's ready but not quite ready ready, if that makes sense. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here is something that's close, but not quite. We'll just go ahead and put in some 
fridge is over here, and this should be down here in this carbon dioxide. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I need to move a little bit of carbon dioxide up into that area. I do have carbon dioxide down here, so here's what I'll do. I'll get rid of just this one real quick. Come down here, and we will build one of these. Uh, a little gas pump here, and then a canister filler. And then we'll just run a gas pipe between the two. This way I can bring in some carbon dioxide. Lerda, you're starving! What? Why don't you have any oxygen masks? I really cannot get my duplicates to deliver os oxygen masks. Like, they just won't do it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna have to make all of them very high in order to supply to their own dock. That's weird. Well, let's see how it works. Still a low priority. Why is that? How in the world is that still priority level 10? Are you kidding me? This is like... <laughs> <laughs> what else are you doing? Huh. Interesting. Either I'm reading something wrong, or the priority system for the oxygen mask docks just isn't really lining up with everything else. Either of those are big possibilities. No, I literally cannot get these dupes to deliver an oxygen mask to the dock. <laughs> yeah. I, I give up. I'm done screwing around with this. It's, it's taking up too much time. For whatever reason, it just doesn't work. Let's go back to the canister emptier real quick. Put that down here. Meep! Welcome to the base, bud! So you can't do much digging, but you do a lot of stuff at night and you're a pilot? All right, good deal. Rocker tree. You can run around with a rocket helmet on even though we don't have a need for it. That's fine, it looks cool. And that's all the reason I need. Well, you know what this means. <laughs> We're gonna build another one of these. Alright, so all of that is planned out. So you guys can get building that. Joshua, you can go ahead and unequip that little oxygen mask. We're not using those anymore. We'll probably go in here and just replace them with the uh, suits or something like that. That, or once we actually get the whole shipping things up and running, I'll be able to do that. Puffed, can you move, please? I want to build this tile here. Could you? No? No, you are incapable of moving, apparently. Ah! Uh, seriously, this one Prince Puffed does not want to move. Let's see if we have enough skills to get myself up to Mechatronics Engineering. It's a pretty high skill level. Don't really know if I have a dupe that can do that. Just Ibuku. But you do farming as well. Crap. Well, we'll work with Derpy Dupe here. Maybe Derpy Dupe will get enough skills so we can do that. Alright, so now that I have enough carbon dioxide down here, should be inside of that container right there, we can go ahead and take this bottle of carbon dioxide and bring it up here to the canister emptier. There we go, now I have carbon dioxide. This is where we can store our food. So then I change the priority on this to 1, and then bring this back up over here. And there we go, just like that. Alright, so I've deconstructed all the stuff over here on the left. Getting ready to kind of make some sort of ranch or maybe some other food over here and then moved all my food over here to the right Boop. now the runtime to get to the food will actually be less uh, once i kind of bring all my food in right here i'll just put the ingredients and whatnot in that spot that and i can go ahead and replace these doors over here so that they don't have to run up and over just to get to the food all right so i'm just building up another little farm over here and this is where i'm going to put some grub fruit Although I gotta go dig that stuff up to begin with. So I do have some right on over here. So we'll head on over there, grab that, start to plant it up. That'll be a good little source of food. And then right inside of here, that's where I can store the sulfur. You can also see all the way over here, we are next to the supply teleporter. So that's going to allow us to get to the other location, which will be out here in the star map. I've yet to visit it yet, but I believe it's that guy right down there. Ooh, research complete. All right, so now I've got the research that I need in order to actually start doing atomic stuff, although I actually need to have radiation that I can absorb. Unfortunately, I am not that far into the game just yet. The surface where the radiation is is very, very far away yet. Ooh, there we go. A cool steam vent. Not exactly cool, super cool, but... That'd be a good source of water. I was just starting to think, you know, I am using a fair amount of water on all these little plants and stuff. But, haha, at least I got one over here. 
Hmm. Shovel eggs. I think I'll take a couple of those. <laughs> I've got so many critters running around thus far. I definitely need to start up some ranches. Ew! Got a lot of slime blood going on up here. That is alright. Let's go ahead and throw down a deodorizer real quick. That'll clear things out. And we can sweep this stuff up. Alright, there we go. Dug up all that. Let's go ahead and just sweep it real quick. We do have some nasty germs down here, but you know what? Doesn't seem to be off-gassing nasty germs, so I think I'm okay. Ooh, just go through the rest of the construction here. Look at Meep go. Meep is super happy. I think it's probably because he had a little nightlight or something. He actually likes to sleep with that on. <laughs> Who knows? He's just happy to be here. Uh, as far as everything else here, I just kind of went and built another one of these apartments up here. Um, that should be enough for now, I would hope. About, uh, room for about eight duplicates. We do have this over here on the right for food. Unfortunately, I can't do the whole shipping thing. Ah, oh, gosh, that's kind of kind of annoying me. The fact that I have to go to space in order to unlock some certain things. Mm, or to get to, you know, radiation. I don't know. I guess I got to start focusing on digging out a little bit further. Uh, although on this map, since it's so big, I feel like that's a long ways away. So, mm, we'll see. Part of me is is feeling like this is a little bit imbalanced. But again, we'll just kind of have to see how that works over the next couple of episodes or so. Uh, as far as what else I've done down here, we got these spindly grub fruits growing up, so those are real nice. Probably try to get a couple, uh, try to get a little sweetel or something inside of here just to kind of give that a little extra buff. Although I do have a farming station inside of there. So that is a new um, thing for me to actually cook up and get some food out of. So we will make that right on over here. This is the roast grub fruit nut. So it has a quality of plus one. Poor. Besides that, if we take a look at the oxygen system, it looks like it's doing all right. It's not too hot temperature wise. I think we're doing a good job here of keeping that heat down because we're actually using the liquid pipes here to do the thing that they need to do. So that's good. I will need to start to tap into some other sources of water, such as this right on up here. Next to the cool steam vent. That shouldn't be too hard to get into. Mm, actually, I could probably just let that come right out of the vent, filter it, put polluted water to one side and clean water to another. That'd probably work just fine for now. I'll probably take a look at getting my hands on some of these thimble reeds so I can actually get my Atmo suit up and running. That would be useful, especially if I'm going to try to go to a different asteroid. Which I have not exactly found the entrance to that just yet. Although it looks like it might possibly be up here, or somewhere around there. Let's dig on over here to the left, see what we see. Hmm? Hmm, <laughs> hmm, As far as my research, well, guess what? I've completed everything I can complete, <laughs> and then, unless I go to the orbit or atomic. And both of those, unfortunately, I just don't have anything that's going to let me do that. The best I can do is kind of pre-research some of this stuff. So I guess that's what I'll try to do now. All right, so looking over here, what do I see? A little bit of a comfy bed, some gold amalgam. Okay, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot this way. Maybe a little neural vacillator, but that's about it. Which I think I also have another one down here. Oh, and if you're wondering about the germs, yeah, they're just inside the storage bin. They're actually not all over the place. Not even a big deal, you know? Just put in a little deodorizer, take care of it. Done. No big deal. Don't have to worry about that too much. There we go, just digging out over here. Mm, still nothing over there. Okay. All right, I'm back after a little bit of break there. I had to take a nap like an old man, but let's see here. Let's see what we got going on here. I want to go ahead and start to build up mm, the next thing I want, which is going to be advanced manufacturing. So that's going to be things like steel. That way I can start to control the temperature. That way I can start to work with the cool steam vent here in a way that it's not going to you know, turn around and hurt me. I can also temperature control various farms and whatnot. I do now have this little spindly grub fruit here. So I've got to keep that in mind. Plus, we got all these little puffs and whatnot. Oh, uh, ranches is, is definitely something I should do. Many things. All like that. All at the same time. But, oh gosh, I can't even get the glass forge without atomic research? Ah! This is not balanced. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> it is not balanced. <laughs> All right. Well, before I can do anything, apparently, I got to go find some radiation. So scratch everything I just said there. 
All right, so for steel manufacturing and that sort of thing, I guess we're going to go ahead and do that over here, because why not, right? All right, so I got dupes that are working down here, but oh my goodness, they don't have masks. They can't hold their breath. Who do we got here? Wobbledorn and Joshua. So we'll at least try to get those guys with a mask on, even though they definitely never <laughs> wear masks. <laughs> Let's take a look in the printing pod. Oh, you know what? I haven't had a poke shell yet. Although, another dupe. Ooh, morale bonus. Strength. Cuisine. Ooh, cooking. Operating. No, I'm going to go with the poke shell. There, now I have just about every critter, except for the one thing that I would really want here, which is a shine bug. I still have yet to find that. All right, come on down here. Dig this up. Where's your mask, Joshua? Uh, I need you to be efficient. Go inside of there, put it on, and do this. Okay, that's the only way I get masks in there. Oh, speaking of that, you know what? I think I have what it takes now to go ahead and put a exosuit forge. I don't have enough refined metals, so I take that back. Let's click on all the buttons down here. Eventually, I'll find them. There it is. What I want to have is the rock crusher. Go ahead and do that right there. Take some power, plug that power in... There you go. All right, so I've said this a bunch of times, so now I'm actually going to do it. I will put a grooming station inside of here, and we'll make this a ranch. And by we, I mean I, and you by extension who watches this. I don't know why I'm losing it. The marbles are shaking loose. Screws, yeah, you can clearly tell. All right, there we go, a little extra caffeine. That'll, that'll push me over the edge. Hey, look who decided to move up here. All I had to do was reload the game. In my mind, in my brain, thinking of stuff. All right, so the big question I have now is, am I going to be able to get down to uranium, and thus by extension, something that could actually allow me to do atomic research by digging down? Is that gonna be faster than going all the way up to space? I don't know. We're gonna see. It looks like I could potentially dig down this direction and just keep going. Lilu, you're going to need to wear your mask. Where is your... All right, there you go. Oh, no. How do I get all... Dupes. Everybody... Mape, everybody's trapped in your room, dude. And there's food? Unrefrigerated? Meat? What are you dupes doing? All right, so I've managed to dig down a little bit further over here, but... Hmm. Still seem like we're a really long ways away from anything that I was looking for. So, I guess I'll just keep digging down. Eventually, somewhere all the way down here, we will find uranium. Let's we'll see if I can get there. I do have a spot where I'm collecting bleach stone. That is actually right up over here. That way it doesn't off-gas inside of my base. I'm going to do the same thing for slime as well. All right, so now that I get down here, what I can do is I can go down one, two, three, just like this, back and forth. That'll allow me to dig down, but do it without a ladder. So technically, it should be a little bit faster. Because I don't have to go down there and do all the construction. Lilu, supply the oxygen mask. You know, me actually has the right skills to potentially become a mechatronics engineer. So, have at it, me. Keep building up them skills. Cool. Extra ranching. Man, my dupes are actually enjoying their life inside of this base. That is weird. Wow. You could do it, Joshua. You could be the one to become the mechatronics engineer. How about that? Oh, big upgrade for you. And Lilu, you can go all the way to hazmat digging. That is pretty impressive. Speaking of Lerda over here, you can do an orbital researcher? That's an extra plus two to science. You know, I actually like the atomic hat a little bit more. Gets that radiation right in the brain. There we go, super skilly dupes. We actually have been here for 156 cycles. And if you ask me, it kind of feels like I haven't really made a ton of progress. Like I've dug out quite a bit, but I haven't actually made a lot of progress. This is a really big base though, so my dupes spend a lot of time running around. Plus we've done the annoying thing like sweeping and that was not set up correctly. <clears throat> no, I forgot it up here. Jeez, are you kidding me? You guys didn't let me know about this in the comments. Uh, Lilu, Lilulu. Okay, you've got an issue here. You actually cannot get out. <laughs> and you know it, don't you? Okay, we're gonna make that a nice high priority. Meep, 
save Lilu before Lilu runs out of oxygen. Come on, Meep. 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 There we go. Um, that is not a lot of oxygen you have there, Lilu. Not much at all. Go! Go, go, go! <laughs> and you're back into business. See, that actually works pretty good. Radiation. Anything? <laughs> not a... Not a thing. Come on. This is brutal. What a long run for Lilu. Hey, at least you'll have a little bit of oxygen down here. Now that you've released some slime. Oh yeah. Yeah, you'll be just fine. Stations. Can I make the exosuit forge yet? No. <clears throat> Proud of level eight. Who is operating? I do have an operator. I do not have an operator. <laughs> All right, well, I haven't had all the critters yet, so there we go. Now we got some Paku. Bet you know which way they're gonna flop. Right on over here. Can you sense it? Can you sense the water? Yes, of course they can. Whee! Sploosh. There you go. Uh, that one hasn't figured out how to swim yet, so... Oh. All right, so now I've got another issue. Lilu's mask can only hold so much oxygen. So getting all the way down here is kind of like a big effort. But, look, radiation that's being given off by this wheeze word. Plus, we have uranium ore. Ha <laughs> ha! All we had to do is go all the way down here and just keep digging. All right, there you go, Lilu. Just dig all the way down here. Dig up a little bit of uranium ore. Why not? Let's make sure you can actually get out of here. Okay. Okay, good. This is the longest run. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this. We have another cool steam vent. Actually, how's the temperature down here? Oh, look at that, nice and cold. Good deal. Hey, look at this, we also got enough stuff for the exosuit forge, which means we can actually start to build up a better suit. So that'll be handy. Do we have lead? I doubt we have lead in this world. It's okay, we don't need lead. The duplicates can absorb a little bit of radiation, right? No problem. Just coming down here. What are, you, what, are you, what are you guys doing? Where are you going? Uh, to pick up the bleach stone. What I'm really concerned about here is Ibuku. Excuse me. What, what are you doing down here without a mask? You death-defying duplicate. <laughs> or maybe not. We'll find out here. <laughs> Living dangerously. Meanwhile, Lilu has mastered the absolute minimum amount of oxygen to conserve to make it all the way back home. Holding breath, holding. <laughs> You're living a life on the edge, one mask at a time. Well, aren't we all actually? <laughs> I know I'm on the edge, or at least on edge. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Weezwort, what, what do you require? You have, you have requirements now. You're no longer as fun as you used to be. <sighs> Which is a disappointment, but whatever. That's okay, we're going to just, we'll, we'll dig it up. So if I come on over here, I can go down. I can actually dig that up. Okay, there we go. We Lou, you wanna dig? We wanna ignore that? No. All right. <clears throat> All right, so to make an exosuit forge, requires the reed fibers. We have 12 of them right down here. Well, isn't that convenient? Yes, please, I'll take a few. Uranium ore is highly radioactive, can be refined into fuel, research reactors, all that fun, fun stuff. All this and we're still not even at the bottom. All right, so now that I got the reed fibers, I should be able to come on up here to the copper and make myself an Atmo suit. That will allow me to have at least one duplicate in an Atmos suit capable of going further towards space or something like that. I mean, the, the masks are good, but they're only so good. Come on, duplicates. All right, Lurda, why are you so positive all the time? Like, I'm really trying to stress. <laughs> Change per cycle, minus 5%. You have... High morale. Oh, why do you have high morale? You smelled flowers? Ah, oh, that's what's doing it for you. All right, clearly you need to lower, we need to lower your morale a little bit. There, have some strength, 
supply some stuff. Uh-huh. There you go. That ought to lower your morale. Be disappointed in life. You have too many tasks and not enough time to do them all. Have we successfully... Yes, the Weezwort has been thwarted. <laughs> Something. Uh, except, here's one thing. <clears throat> My uranium ore is not irradiating. This is the least radioactive stuff ever. A banana is more radioactive than this area down here. That's all right. We've got a wart seed, so we can make use of them. We do have temperatures. They are starting to increase. We've got, um, mostly thanks to poop. We've got radioactive poop. We don't have radioactive poop. <laughs> Sorry, I told you I'm losing it. So here's what we're going to do. I'll just go down here, just like this. We've already got the supercomputer there. We've already got the research station there. So let me build the atomic collider, which requires refined metals, which I don't have enough refined metals. So let's refine some metal. All right, so that now requires a food tile, so a uh, farm tile. So I will take care of that by doing this. And then right inside of there, ha, we'll put the wheeze work. Growth requirements, oh, it just needs gas? Oh, and phosphorite, I got it. Aha! There we go, now we've got a wheeze ward over here. That'll help keep the temperature down and help increase the radiation. Nice. Right next to our food, you know, I mean, if it can kill off the germs, you know. And look what else I've done. Aha! Conveyor rail. And then I'll do a conveyor loader. And then, eventually, once we get to it, we'll get the atomic collider right on over here. Oh, there it is! Hello, beautiful. Bam! Atomic Collider. Which is not the end of what I need. I actually need a Red Bull Generator. And if that actually travels at an angle, I think I might be able to just do with that. 30, 24, 19. I think I, yeah, I think I could just get away with that. And then, go like this. I already have an extra power outlet that I'm using to bring that up to this. Which goes down to this. Whoops. Which is that power transformer. And then a little bit of automation. So if that goes down at an angle, doot, 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 collider. That should work. If not, it'll laser beam one of these critters or a duplicate. And, or Lurda. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, speaking of that, I should probably build a hospital. All right, so this thing down here is consuming a lot of power. Something to keep in mind. 49 of 50. Slow it down. We're about to see the rad bolt generator generate rad bolts. Careful, Joshua. Don't stand in front of the rad bolt generator. Hey, that actually worked out pretty good. Look at that. 47 of them made it all the way over there. Which uh, really wasn't that far away. So now, technically, I should have what I need for Lurda to come on over here and do a little bit of research. So long as I pick the correct... Let's go ahead and research lead suits. No. Let's go ahead and research the soda fountain. Much more important. Learn to stress. What is your stress like? Oh, yes. Perfect. 10% per cycle. This is excellent. Things are going just as planned. Are you absorbing radiation? Oh, yes, you are. Mmm. One rad. Okay, well, that was enough for four out of five, so not, not too bad. Fairly costly thing to research, though. But hey, once I get some more power, I can build more rad bolt generators. We can then combine that and make it go a little bit faster. Not bad, though. As far as my duplicates' exposure to radiation, I believe they get rid of 100 rads per cycle, so it's not even close to hurting any of them. What is a little bit more dangerous is all my tubes. They keep coming down here to pick stuff up. Mate, you're playing with fire. But at any rate, that's about all I got time for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.